Okay. Okay. All right, so here's another great exercise that we could utilize for not only stretching and gaining mobility, but we can get really tight in the torso area, namely around the rib cage that can stem into our shoulders and neck, okay, and cause a lot of impingements, injuries in the neck, shoulder, chest, back region. Okay, so this is gonna give us equal footing of stretching and mobility and enough power and presence of mind to earn a roll pattern relative to channeling up this strength that starts originating from the footprint and using our leg muscles and our core muscles and earning what is called sling system pull. Okay, and our sling system sits diagonally throughout our body. So we have to investigate or get creative with some of our pulls and this is the set exercise. It's a little more advanced, so this would be something that you would earn, you know, after training for a couple months to a couple of years and you understand some of these little subtleties that go into grounding ourselves, earning stability, and things like that, okay? Prior to getting engaged, of course, we're gonna load our legs in a way that we can have stability. So this anchor with these two resistance bands doesn't pull us forward aggressively. That includes our footprint being relatively straight ahead. I'm gonna shove my knees up and I'm gonna sit into that side position where my pelvis is slightly up. I do want to cause some form of stretch. So as I rotate, this anchor system will pull me slightly forward and I'm hinging a lot. When I go to pull out of this position now, it's important that this footprint, more importantly, the power through this side of my body is going to essentially drive me upwards. And as I start to commit to that, I pull the shoulder girdle down and back and I pull like a traditional row. And then it alternates sides. So I sit into it, this will pull me slightly forward, almost like I'm gonna fall, drive my footprint into the ground, and I pull. If I wanna make this more difficult, of course, I would step back or get more of an aggressive pull. The key feature is I'm not originating the pull here, and compartmentalizing my movements, I am integrating and driving through that pole into that set position. So again, I open to my extreme side, let this stretch me out, cut the knees out, back to the foot, shoulder blades go down and back before I commit to the pole, and then I pull. Remember, you'll need two resistance bands or a cable system that's linked to a resistance band to change the amount of tensile strength that you will get as you finish your pull. Remember not to lean back or push your lower back out as you pull through that sequence. As you're finishing the pull again, tucking the pelvis and pulling the shoulder blades down and back. 